People are wondering how Pool League can be handicapped using Fargo ratings, and there's so many different league formats uh, and different ways to do it that I, I thought I'd just pick one and talk about it a little bit. And with so many formats out there, that the easiest way to discuss a format is to show a score sheet. I, I think a lot of people recognize score sheets. So here is a score sheet for a 5x5 five five round robin league, five players on each team. Everybody plays every other uh, team mem uh, member of the other team one time, uh, and it looks like this, and it's color-coded. Uh, you don't need the numbers here. Uh, if, if, if you're the first player over here, you're always the black rectangle, and you play in this round, say in the third round here, the first player here plays the third player here, black plays black, blue plays blue, and so forth. <clears throat> and it's ho common to score a format like this by scoring rounds. At the end of each five game round, which is a vertical line here, uh, each team will have a certain number of points and the, the higher number of points wins the round uh, and, and, and so forth. And maybe the total points for the whole night is treated as, as yet another round. Uh, but you handicap this format by awarding one team, a weaker team, a certain number of points each round uh, in advance. And it's common to do that based upon historical ball averages uh, is, is one way to do it. But you can also do something uh, better with, with Fargo ratings. So let me just give you an idea how this works. So uh, this, is, this is a screen in LMS where uh, a league operator would be putting in uh, players and, and scores and so forth. Uh, so this is the good guys versus the bad guys. Uh, the good guys has a certain roster here and you can see who's on the roster. And Jennifer Brett is playing in the first spot, uh, then Emily Duddy, then me, then Steve Ernst, then April Larson. And you can see as I put these people in these spots, the Fargo ratings here have populated. And this is connected directly to the Fargo rate database. So these are live numbers. And they, they might have changed yesterday and, and so forth. Now, the good guys here are playing the bad guys. It's a special night, and you can see who's on the bad guys team. Uh, and they know they're playing us, and they decided to take in a couple of subs, a couple of friends. Uh, so the way to add somebody who's not currently on the roster is just to hit this thing here, and you're out there searching uh, the, the world of players in the Fargo Ray database. So they've got one friend named Billy. who's going to play here. They've got another friend named Dennis. They've got another friend named Oscar. They've got a friend named Skyler. And they've got one more friend. <coughs> named Shane. And, and, and once again, these are attached directly to the Fargo rate database, so it comes in uh, with the Fargo ratings and so forth. So w what you see uh, when our group of good guys plays these bad guys, that automatically this number, 21 points per round, uh, is populated. And I'll show you in a bit where that, where that comes from. Um, so as we score a round, let's, let's, let's play through a round. Uh, Jennifer uh, breaks and, and uh, misses shape on her key ball. And then uh, Billy gets out. So that's the first game. Uh, Emily gets run out on by Dennis. Uh, I break dry. And Oscar runs out. Steve breaks, runs a couple balls, plays a lockup safe, 
gets back to the table for the 10-2 win. And then April uh, gets run out on by Shane. Um, and that ties the round. Uh, if Shane only knew to take stripes instead of solids, April wouldn't have gotten those two points. So, so the round is tied. Um, so where does this come from? Where does this 21 points come from? So how can Fargo ratings be used to predict scores in a eight ball points format when Fargo ratings is about chances of winning a game? Well, here's how. Fargo rate predicts that when April plays Oscar, April's going to win the game 28% of the time, and that depends upon their rating difference. That also means she's going to lose the game 72% of the time. So let's assume when a person loses a game of eight ball, they earn an average of four points. Okay, so April has a 28% chance of winning the game, 28% chance of earning 10 points, and a 72% chance of losing the game and earning four points. Put these together, and April is expected to earn 5.7 points per game when she plays Oscar. Oscar has a 72% chance of earning 10 points and a 28% chance of earning four points. He is expected to earn 8.3 points per game when he plays April. So if Oscar spotted April 2.6 points per game, they could actually play a long race and, and things wind up pretty close. So how good is this four points per loss assumption? Well, it's not great, and we don't actually use it. We've got a lot of data for eight ball games scored with the point system, and what we find makes sense. When you lose a game against a very weak opponent, you likely have very few balls left on the table. The typical scenario is, is not that the weak opponent ran out uh, working his or her way through the traffic of your balls. Probably you got pretty far in the game and messed up, and that's why the weak opponent won. When you lose a game against a strong opponent, uh, it's a very different situation. You might have broken dry, that person ran out, or, you, or they broke and ran out. It's common to have a lot of balls left on the table. So you earn fewer points when you lose a game against a strong opponent, and you earn more points when you lose a game against a weaker opponent. This dependence on opponent rating is accounted for. In, in so this was just an example of using Fargo ratings to handicap an eight ball league that uses 10 point scoring and has five player teams. There are many different formats out there. You can have three player teams, four player teams. You can use the 17 point scoring instead of the 10 point scoring or, or just win loss. Uh, Fargo ratings can similarly be used to handicap all of these. And these are just options in LMS, the league management system.